What's up everybody, welcome back to Scars and Whiskey. I hope you're having a great day, I'm, gonna, I'm having an awesome day. Today we're doing the Tatuahi Kanohu uh, 2012 uh, cigar. Uh, if you haven't had a Tatuahi, man, I do suggest you try it. They have a lot of different cigars, but man, they're, they're great. I hardly have, ever have problems with them. Uh, now this is going to be a 6x6.5x52. By six by this is an Ecuadorian Sumatran wrapper. Which you can tell is just look at it. It's awesome. It's really toothy. A little bit of oilness to the uh, to the to the wrapper. You can see there's veins. They're not huge veins, but they're minimal. Uh, real tight seamed. It is a uh, binder and filler is both Nicaraguan, and you can see it's kind of like a, a semi box press cigar, and it looks like it might be uh, uh, a, a triple cap up here on the top of the cigar. But man, a good looking stick. Uh, the first one I've had of this uh, size, I've seen it's been out uh, quite a while. In 2012 it was named uh, one of the cigars by Cigar Aficionado. Now I picked this up at Fine Ash Cigars of Avondale. Uh, Sam carries it in his shop there. If you're in the area and you're looking for cigars, I do suggest check out Fine Ash Cigars in Avondale. It's got some good sticks in there. A lot of the boutique blends, a lot of the Tatuahi, Roma Craft, uh, even has some of, you know, Arturo Fuentes. He's got just a whole mess load in there. So check it out. Uh, but well, let's be back with our pre light. On the pre draw, we are getting a little bit of sweetness, um, like a sweet hay, a little bit of earth notes. We are getting a little bit of. Maybe uh, pepper off of the foot, but man, it's a good looking stick. The draw just seems it's really well, so let's go ahead and light it up. It starts off uh, with the smoke is very smooth. Uh, again, that sweetness, we're getting that little bit of earthiness, and I would say it's a medium to medium full cigar at this point. Again, my palate sometimes when I give you the mediums, the medium full, uh, I realize guys, I smoke a lot of more full flavored cigars, so to me it doesn't seem as much. I've had some comments where people said, hey man, that was way too full for me. Uh, so keep that in mind, uh, that when I give a recommendation on uh, strength wise, that's basing it off of my preference of full cigars. So, we'll be right back uh, with our second third. Welcome back, everybody, for the second third of our review of the Tatuahi. And the second third, uh, the it's more of a full cigar at this point. Uh, the draw is awesome, and now we're getting a little bit of introduction of a pepper. Uh, it's just a little bit on the palate, not too overpowering, just enough to give you a little tingle on the tongue. But all in all, man, it's a good cigar. You can see the the ash holds up pretty okay. It's not so much of a razor sharp burn, but that's all right. It doesn't it really ruin the experience of the cigar. And stay tuned. We're we'll back with our final third. Welcome back, everybody, for the final third of our review of our Tatuahi today. In the final third, really no change, but that fullness, uh, it's a really full cigar. A little bit of a nicotine buzz on towards the end, but man, it's a good cigar. If you haven't had the cigar again, try Tatuahi. It's a really good brand, and I haven't been disappointed yet. And again, getting that pepper, uh, a little bit of sweetness, the earthiness, and that real smooth smoke. And if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. Always leave your comments. Thanks again for tuning in to Cigars and Whiskey. Have a great day. Have a great smoke. I'll see you next time.